It's the dawn of Cosmic Clarity Dark Star, and I need your help. Welcome to SETI Astro. So in the past, I've tried uh, two other times to make a star removal program and utterly failed after a couple weeks of trying it at each attempt. Um, but I guess third time's a charm, and you can see some of my failures here and banding and chunking and just utter random garbage but but i think i finally finally landed on something that's working so i think where i failed in the past was trying to uh jump jump too far in the future so i needed a better better starting point and i was thinking what what thing can i try to add stars to that looks like nebula that we capture in space and i landed on taking pictures of clouds so <laughs> i uh i took pictures of clouds made them grayscale stretched them with statistical stretch which is how i actually normalize uh data going into my neural net and then i then i added a bunch of uh stars i put on fake diffraction spikes i put some aberration on them and i did this on um, a couple different uh, cloudy images here right there's some clouds and then I added in some some fake stars and I used that as a starting point uh, such that I can get some kind of output from from a neural net so towards the beginning uh, just because it was working with my fake stars it was like ripping out um, things that obviously aren't stars like this was from you know the, the eagle it was like taking the head off the the pillars of creation and some other other spots in there so where it really struggled early on was like real world diffraction spikes small pixel sizes drizzled data like here's a big diffraction spike coming off here so what i had to do is take it in steps all right i got this far now i need to do like blemish blaster and get rid of all the things that shouldn't be there save those retrain the ai on and on and on so i've, I've done this multiple times over the last uh, couple of weeks now and i've got to a point where the beta is pretty good and hopefully you can see now it does a much better job getting rid of other um items right like there's a big star here that it, it, it took care of the large diffraction spike off to the left is greatly minimized there's nothing weird down in the dark areas. So um, this is where this is where I'm going to need going to need more assistance from the community. So I, I, I'm going to put out my working beta. And what I'm hoping for is if it works on your images and you don't have any uh, problems, great. Then you got another star removal tool for your belt. If you get a whole bunch of artifacts weird anomalies things uh that it didn't remove correctly instead of just alerting me right um i only have a limited amount of time if you want to be part of this project go ahead and use blemish blaster or clone stamp or something clean up the starless image save the starless and the starry images for me and send them my way and that way I could use that data into the neural net to help train it better on those particular types of stars. So in this case, kind of left a, a weird thing from that really bright large star with the diffraction spike there. And maybe, you know, kind of this one here. So just kind of scroll around, see if there's any uh, obvious large anomalies that you wouldn't like in your image. And then, so I'm using my blemish blaster, right? I'm gonna go ahead and execute. And you could use Blemish Blaster in, in SETI Astro Suite as well. Apply to main image. And then this is the this is the image I would want you to save and send my way, right? It's the it's the cleaned up one, such that we can continue training the neural net, uh, how to remove those other troublesome uh, stars or artifacts. For the vast majority of images, though, it really does an amazing job at removing the stars, though. Here's just a ton of stars, and they're all gone, right? So it's really going to be those anomalous ones where you're getting a weird artifact that you would like to clean it up, 
get the starless version the way you want it with uh, whatever artifacts removed and then send it my way. And as a community, we could uh, improve it more and more and more. So where can you get it to start trying it and uh, potentially help out? Go to SETIastro.com under Astro Programs Cosmic Clarity. We'll take you to the Cosmic Clarity page. Uh, I don't have a big announcement on it yet since it's still it's still mostly in a beta. Um, but go ahead and, and click the initial Cosmic Clarity folder. And then they're all updated to already include my Dark Star Star Removal Program. Once you download and unzip the newest version, uh, and you will have to get the full thing, you just can't get it. There are some additional libraries that are in there. You'll see a new program here, uh, SETI Astro Cosmic Clarity Dark Star. Uh, you could run it standalone, uh, and launching it standalone has a pretty simple user interface. Uh, it's just whether you want GPU acceleration. If you want to show the extracted stars, whether you want it unscreen or additive, Unscreen is going to be the default. It's really, it's really the best way to go anyways. And then just start processing. It's going to take everything in the input folder, process it, and give you starless images in the output folder. Very shortly, I'm going to be coming out with a newer uh, SETI Astro Suite that you could utilize uh, Dark Star with. So just click Star Removal. Uh, it'll ask you if you want to use Starnet or My Cosmic Clarity Dark Star. And then it's just going to ask you the, the same things that would have been in the UI anyways. Uh, let's keep GPU acceleration on. We're going to unscreen, and I don't want to see the, the star less image. Correction, I don't want to see the stars only image. It's going to go through and show you on the UI where it's at. And when it's done, it imports the, the starless image for you. Now, you may want to experiment around, too, with uh, sharpening and denoising before star removal like you normally would in images anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and um, sharpen and denoise part of the California Nebula here. And then when that's done, uh, go ahead and extract the stars. I'm gonna choose my dark star. And the star removal was, was pretty darn good. There's a couple uh, artifacts still around, uh, which does happen with pretty much any star removal program. But now this is a great opportunity um, to go in, use something like Blemish Plaster Clone Stamp remove these uh, couple that are still here. So I'm just gonna open up my blaster. And now with the star artifacts removed, you can continue with your processing, but I would uh, encourage you to go ahead and save this image like this and uh, send it to me. Kelly Starless .tiff. Uh, 16 or 32 bit is is fine either, either one I could use and then be sure to also send me the one right before you remove the stars so let's go ahead and save this one too Kelly stars And then uh, your image could uh, help train the neural net to be that little bit better in the future, uh, which would be amazing. And it gives you an opportunity to, you know, eliminate your stars and just continue with your star processing like you would with any other star removal program. So be looking out for version 2.13.8 for City Astro Suite, which incorporates the star removal via Dark Star. And be sure to uh, go grab the latest Cosmic Clarity because Dark Star will be in it if you just want to use the standalone. Uh, for instance, if you're just using Pix Insight, you're going to have to save it to the input folder and then just run Dark Star to remove the stars. Currently, I don't have a script for uh, Pix Insight yet, but all that in due time. Well, this is early days for my own star removal program. Please comment, like, and subscribe.